Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen here at My Table 3. If you're new here to these videos, my name is Carrie. Thanks so much for coming by. Hopefully you're coming over from the Croctober 2023 collaboration hosted by our friend Sammy over at Managing the Maze and Tamara from a Southern Life, Southern Wife Everyday Life. I always get that wrong, but she has some amazing videos and so does Sammy. I will link both of their channels below because you don't want to miss any of their content. And you don't want to miss all the content that will be in this collaboration. There is a playlist that I will try and link below. All the videos released today at the same time so you could go and watch your little heart is content. All hopefully will inspire you to use your crock pot or your slow cooker this fall season. Today I'm going to show you how to do a really quick main dish that is delicious and so comforting and then also a side dish that you can put in that crock pot or the slow cooker and leave until you're ready to serve your meal so let's jump in the kitchen and get started first with my chicken and gnocchi soup okay we are going to start by putting our chicken in the crock pot and we are going to do Two large chicken breasts for our family. You can do two to three, but we're just going to do the two. And then here I have cut up this yesterday so it'll be easier to throw in the crock pot this morning before we leave. One onion, a cup and a half of carrot, and a cup and a half of celery. I'm just going to dump that in on top. <coughs> I am going to season with some black pepper, <clears throat> some garlic powder. That's probably about a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper, probably a teaspoon of garlic. This is Italian seasoning, so I'm going to do, and this has a little bit of red pepper flakes in it, so I'm going to do about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. And you can use regular Italian seasoning, and then I'm going to do salt. And I'm going to do a teaspoon and a half of salt. And we're going to add a lot to this later. Okay, and the next thing I need to do is get some chicken broth. 32 ounces, or I just got a, a quart um, of chicken stock that I can. Alright, so that is that. Just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to put my lid on that and I'm going to let that go for about four hours on high and then we'll come back and check it after that. Okay, so it has been four hours. I have took the chicken breast out and shredded it. Now we're going to go ahead and you can see just the vegetables in there. We're going to go ahead and put our a half and half in, which I have actually a half a cup of heavy cream in here and then i'm going to do a cup and a half of this organic half and half so let me measure that out real quick this is my pampered chef small uh mixing bowl there we go oh, a little bit more okay so again that's just organic half and half i had a half a cup of heavy whipping cream and I'm going to use cornstarch uh, today to thicken because my son, like I said, is kind of on an elimination right now. So we are trying to watch wheat or gluten for him. So we're going to use cornstarch. You could use flour if you want to, but I'm just going to do three tablespoons. And I'm just going to mix it right in with this cold half and half and cream mixture because you don't want to clump up. So let's go ahead and do that. Also, I'm going to go ahead, once I get this mixed up, we are going to just try to make sure there's no lumps really quick. You need to see that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pour that into our crock pot. Okay, so there's our chicken. 
in. And then here are the gnocchi that I thawed while we were out getting the birds. I'm going to go ahead and put them in and I'm going to stir that. So now we're going to let this cook again um, on high for one hour or until the gnocchi are um, cooked through. Okay, so we got 30 minutes left. The soup is looking really good. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. So the last thing I have to do is add in the spinach. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm just going to lay that on top and it will just basically wilt down and then we can stir it in. So this is the last 30 minutes of cooking. Go ahead and put that in. All right, so I'm gonna put the lid back on it and let it finish cooking for these next 32 minutes and then we'll stir it in, oops, sorry, and eat. Okay, and while that is cooking, I chopped some extra vegetables and I have some extra chicken. So I'm actually gonna put a freezer bag in the freezer as like a soup starter for this soup so we can have it again later. So it's basically like cook one, eat one. So we're going to put the two chicken breasts. And again, if you want three chicken breasts, like if this is not enough for your family, you can add another one. Um, if we decide after this one that it's not enough chicken, I can always add a jar of my home canned chicken or turkey to it later. But there is that. And then of course this is the meringues or the onion, celery, and carrots. I'm going to go ahead and dump those in. See if I can do this without making a mess. Bags are supposed to make it easier, but when you don't pull them upright, carry, they don't. So let's go ahead and pull these up. <laughs> Alright. This is all operation error. Have you guys had a thing like that before? I'm going to go ahead all that in there. And then I always have half and half or heavy cream in the fridge so I don't have to worry about that. And I always have chicken or turkey stock on my pantry shelf as well because I can that a lot during the fall. Um, so this is just going to be our chicken breast and our vegetables. Um, and I'm going to write on the bag what it is. I'm also going to put a bag of um, gnocchi in here. I'm going to put them in their own bag and then put them in there. And then it will be ready to go. Okay. So this is my prep station where I was getting my bags ready. You can see it has the chicken, the vegetables. And then I put a pound of gnocchi frozen in a smaller Ziploc bag and just stuck that on top of the veggies. Now I will label it here. I just put chicken and gnocchi soup. I have, I know the recipe, but you can make a recipe card and uh, put that in a box so you'll have that in the fridge. I just dated it and we will have that ready, like I said. Um, I just love these labels here. They stick on really good. They stay on in the freezer, the ink and smear. And I actually get these from Amazon, so I can link a link to them below um, through my Amazon link. You get a hundred of the labels. It comes with a pen, a permanent marker that writes on these really good and doesn't smear they are waterproof it says i've been using these for a while and really like them so i will um put that link below and i'll be back in a little bit and show you the soup all right so there it goes there is the finished product it smells so good and we are going to dish it up because everybody is starving It is really hearty with all the chicken and all the vegetables. You can see all those in there. And it smells so good. You can see how it's thickened up. I cannot wait to eat this, guys. And I... Okay, did that not look delicious? It was phenomenal. And I do have another one still in the freezer, as you saw me packing that up for later. So I'm excited about having that one already. So next, I'm going to show you a side dish that I did a few days ago, and I did that in the crock pot as well. So let's jump in and see how we make our crock pot potatoes really quick. Okay, so we are going to start with three pounds of red potatoes. I have just chopped them up and uh, washed them, and then I chopped them up into smaller pieces. 
Um, depending on how big your potatoes are, you can leave them in different sizes. But I need these to cook within like probably two to three hours. So I am going to cook them on high. I made my pieces smaller. All right, so this is one stick of butter and one tablespoon of olive oil. I just melted it on the stove. Get this way if you got, and I'm just going to pour it over. This is just an easy side dish uh, that you can have ready if your family likes potatoes. You can also do this with radishes if you um, are trying to eat lower carb or if maybe, I just like radishes, so we'll just eat them sometimes like potatoes and you just rinse them, trim the ends off and cut them up just like potatoes and you could do it like this or in the oven. Okay, so we're gonna do ranch potatoes. So I actually make my homemade ranch. I have a video, I'll show you how to do that. I'll link it above and in the description. And so I'm just going to sprinkle a tablespoon, a couple tablespoons over that. So if you do a packet, probably one packet for three pounds of potato. Now my mix does not have salt in it. So I will have to salt that. And before I put the lid on it, which I didn't bring my salt over, so just a second. All right, so I'm just going to sprinkle in probably about a teaspoon of salt. You can use less or... And then I'm actually also going to put some red pepper flakes in just to give it a, a tiny bit of heat. That is optional. So um, I'll in the um, directions, it'll say optional in the recipe that down below okay and so i'm just going to toss these now so that everything kind of gets coated and the seasonings the salt and that butter okay so i'm going to put the lid on this cook this on high for three hours and hopefully they will be done to eat with our sausage i'll show you what they look like when they're done Alright, so about 2 hours and 45 minutes in, my potatoes are done. Now, I did mix these. Uh, about every hour, I stirred them. I did taste them about 30 minutes ago, and they needed some more seasoning. So, I actually added some seasoned salt and a little bit more of my ranch mix. And then just put the lid back on and let it go. And they are fork tender. They have so much flavor now, and they're going to be great with our sausage and our salad today. So, there's easy crock pot potatoes. So that's it, you guys. How'd you like those recipes? I know that they turned out delicious for us. My family loved them. And like I said, I do have another one of those chicken and gnocchi soups in the freezer ready to go. You saw how easy it was to prep and have a meal in your freezer ready to pull out. You can pull it out to thaw um, the chicken and veggies the night before if you'd like to, or you can just put it all in your crock pot and do it on high for six, you know, low for, sorry, low for 68 hours. And then put your gnocchi in about an hour before it's done and your spinach about 30 minutes before it's done. And you'll have a delicious, warm chicken and gnocchi soup. And then that side of potatoes will go with any kind of protein that you have on your plate. So I hope you try those. I hope you'll check out all the videos that I mentioned before. The playlist is listed below in my description. Until the next time, I want to say thank you for Tam uh, Tamara and Sammy for inviting us to be a part of this October 2023. And I hope to see all you guys next time.